welcome back to another review video. So yesterday, actually technically it was the night before, but it got posted yesterday, was the cotton candy end of this chapstick duo. So today I'm going to do the other side of it, which is pink cupcake. And apparently I'm an idiot because I labeled it only to realize, oh, the name's are on the bottoms of these new ones, but they weren't always that way. Like, I can prove it, I can prove it, I can prove it. The old ones did not have the names. You can see where I wrote the names in, but you can also see that there was nothing there. Like this one, you can tell better that that's just my writing. There was nothing in there before. So that is a newer addition that they have put on the two new duo sets that did not used to be a thing. So I'm very grateful for that. So this one, I'm leaving as is. I do not need to label it because it already says it. So I just thought I'd point that out in case anybody was unaware that on the new ones, they're already there. You don't have to write it in, which is fabulous. So anyway, I am doing the pink cupcake one today. So we will get right into it. So format wise, it is just a dome, as you can see. So there's that, and packaging wise, if you have it with another one, it looks like that, but on its own, it's just this little siren-y looking thing. I do not even know what you would call that packaging other than looking like a siren, even though I realize that pogos look more like sirens, so I don't even know. But yeah, these are not natural or organic by any means, they're totally synthetic, they're chapstick, what do you want from me? Um, they're also not limited edition, but it is part of this two-pack set. I don't know if they'll eventually sell either or both of these two flavors individually. I think they're just selling them as this set, though. So, um, amount of product is 0.19 ounces, so that's less than an EOS, but more than a standard stick. It's a weird middle ground in between the two, but it's kind of cool. So, um, price point on these is where it gets iffy, because literally everywhere that I've seen them has had a different price, but I would say expect to pay on average at least $3 for these. So, um, shelf life isn't listed anywhere on these. Not on them, not on the packaging, nowhere. So that's a thing. Um, Sturdiness-wise, they're mostly okay, except for that weird little indent hole in the bottom that if you put your finger through it, you're done. You've gone straight through to the bomb because they, for some reason, didn't fill that in with plastic. God only knows why. So that's a thing. But um, yeah, no special features like SPF or medication, so let's get on to the scent. Because I know that's what you're all waiting for. And this one to me, I don't know, it's a huge disappointment. I kind of honestly, instinctively felt it before I even had it open that this end of it, actually I was worried that both ends might be, but this end specifically would be disappointing and would be super faint. And I was right. This is a really light scent to begin with. And what is there doesn't smell like a cupcake to me. It smells like 90% like caramel and like maybe 10% coffee or mocha or something. But just, there is nothing cupcake-ish about this. I mean, I guess technically caramel is like sh just pure sugar, but nothing about this screams cupcake to me. Not unless you were like trying to make a salted caramel cupcake anyway, which I don't even know if that's the I imagine it has to be a thing, but... Yeah. I have tried and tried and tried to find anything in this that smells cupcake-esque, and just, there's not, which is disappointing. Especially because, like, pink cupcakes, um, generally they're slightly strawberry. <laughs> I can talk. Um, the ones that are pink with the actual cake part are slightly strawberry-ish, but even if it's just white cake with pink frosting, generally they're delicious. But this smells nothing like pink cake or pink frosting. It just smells like caramel, which I mean, thankfully is a good scent. It's not bad, I can't complain with it, other than, you know, it said pink cupcake, I was expecting it to smell like a cupcake. But I guess it would just basically smell like sugar if they did that, so... I don't know. But I'm saying fail on the scent, it does not smell like a cupcake, they are lying liars. But, um... Also disappointing on the consistency, although I will put it on again for this review, but, um... Also, I just noticed on the packaging, it says 8-hour moisture. I call bullshit. This does not last 8 hours. I'm sorry. Even the better end of it does not last 8 hours. 
even if you don't eat or drink anything. It just doesn't. Maybe like two hours at best. Just heard the garage door open. What the hell? It's like 10 at night. Anyway, um, so it's not quite as thick as the Cotton Candy End, I find. it. I mean, it's still thicker than the original Duos, so I give it that. And it's still really creamy, um, not sticky. It's a little bit greasy, but good greasy. Um, it's very similar in its consistency that way. It has, like, the tiniest hint of flavor ever. That's probably the closest thing to cupcake flavor out of the whole thing, honestly, is that tiny hint of flavor. That almost kind of sort of makes you think of it, but not in the scent at all. But, um, god, my eye is really bloodshot, what the hell? But, um, sorry, I just noticed that and was like, ugh, what, what is going on there? But, um, and no, I haven't been crying. No, I'm not stoned. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm even having an allergy issue right now, so I'm, I'm just very confused because they're not itchy or anything it doesn't even hurt or burn or itch it just I don't know I'm very distracted but um goodness it feels really good it's almost as thick as the other but not quite as much but where it has its fatal flaw is that it doesn't stay on anywhere near as long as the blue end and I don't know why and I've actually been testing this out ever since I opened it to test the blue end I've kind of been going back and forth between the two that's how I know that I really prefer this end of it and not just because blue is my favorite color but no in general that end is way better but um for some reason like I already feel this thinning out even just as I'm speaking the blue end I don't find I have that issue with but this one is like gone super fast and I just don't get why when ultimately they don't feel that different in their consistency or anything but there's got to be something different in the ingredient ah, I can talk again ingredients the makeup like I don't know but it's definitely different and it's just disappointing in the pink end of it I don't know why they're so different you would think since they're sold together as a duo pack they would at least have the same consistency and the same formula, but they don't seem to, and it makes me a little bit nuts. But at least it's shiny. I like how shiny both ends of it are, honestly. That is a really big draw to me, because the other ones, they were kind of almost like semi-matte. And that just made me sad. So I like that these are shinier. I still like, I mean, even with this end being a disappointment, I think it's safe to say I still like it better than most of the original duos. So, I mean, for what it's worth... It's still good. It's still worth having. It just, I, I really wish that it smelled more like an actual pink cupcake and I wish it stayed on longer. But other than that, it's not terrible or anything. And it, no, it doesn't hold up to the drink test. I've already tested this mercilessly under many conditions and just, it doesn't. Blue End kind of sort of almost wants to, but it doesn't really either, but pink end really doesn't. So what would I rate this? Um... Let me think. Well, scent, obviously. It's getting docked for scent, since it just, it doesn't smell like a cupcake at all. Um, also, for the fact that it's, it doesn't last as long as the blue end, it just seems to wear off really quickly. It doesn't hold up to the drink test. It is a little bit thinner. Um, I think I'm actually going to give this side a 6.5 out of 10, um, which seems harsh, but I mean, like I said, it's still worth having. It's not terrible, it just isn't as good as this end, and maybe if I had reviewed this end first, I would have felt differently, but keep almost dropping it, but I also keep catching it. But um, since I did the blue end first, this end just kind of feels like a disappointment. I think scent-wise, it would have been disappointing anyway, but... At least the blue end is really good, if nothing else. But I still think it's worth having. It's definitely usable. I mean, it's it's definitely better than the other duos. So, I don't know. I would say just carry both around. and you, Hell, put one on one lip, one on the other. I did that yesterday, too, and it was interesting. But, anywho. That is about all I have to say for this one. So, as usual, 
If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Any of you guys found this duo set yet? If so, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear them, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you want to help support it, the donation link is down in the description box. Anyway, till next time, bye!